Hello and welcome to another guide on how to make gold in Alt Online in 10.0. Uh, there's gonna be a different ways I'll be showing you. They're not gonna be all of them, I think. There's obviously that I'm gonna miss out on some uh, things to make gold with, but these are like the most efficient ways to make gold in my opinion that I uh, often practice practice to make gold. So uh, they're not all of the ways to make gold, but they're like the best ones in, uh, for me, for my opinion. So I just wanted to share them. To you so that people uh well because people have been asking me how to make gold because people seem to have problems to make gold really um and keep up with everything obviously so here's a guide on how to make gold how i make gold how i keep up with everything uh first of all there's the weekly battlegrounds limit so every week uh on thursdays there's going thursdays mornings at four o'clock there's going to be a reset of your replenishables which is the bg elements and also uh, Goblin Wall uh, Emblems, but I'll get back to that. For BG Emblems, you get 75 a week. Um, this is gonna be reset weekly, even, no matter whether you use all of them or if you use none every week, it's going to reset back to 75. So this is the uh, BG vendor at the leak side. On oh, the Imperial side, it's going to be in tower uh, for you. Um, uh, next to the portal where you go to Jaskin. So uh, when the weekly um, reset hits, you will be able to use your uh, marks again, your signs of victory, to combine them to reach your uh, limit. When you right click them, you will use them as the and chat and then it's going to disappear when you hit your limit. So I've hit my limit already, there was a hard farming of peaches. Uh, so you get these emblems by doing battlegrounds, which is on control M and then go skirmishes and rather than skirmish you just tag them and play the game and over time you will gain these big emblems uh, same for doing trial of blood uh, trainings every day at midnight exactly your rating from your training is going to reset and uh, based on that rating that you got on that training you will gain the emblems so it's a very good way as well to make uh, Make BG emblems on your rings if you're not that active in BGs on your rings. If you're not getting that much wins on your rings in BGs, make sure to do trial of blood every day on your rings to make some rating. So once you hit your limit, uh, you will, it's about 1500 a week, so exactly the amount of battlegrounds you get. Now you can buy either the small symbols of gold or a battleground gift. In the end, for the same amount of BG emblems, um, they're going to give the same amount of gold, so it doesn't matter whether you, which one you buy, so just buy the big one. Uh, this is basically going to give you a ruby initially, but if you already have the ruby, it's going to convert to gold to the same amount of value you would get uh, if you would spend the same amount of BG emblems on buying the small symbols of gold. So it doesn't matter which one you buy in the end if you already have the ruby. This is going to yield you 300k uh, gold every week. So that's that. Uh, that's per character per ring, so that's a very good income uh, to have weekly going on for you. So next to that, uh, not far from the BG NPC, there is the Goblin Ball NPC, and Goblin Ball is uh, another content in the game that you can buy uh, symbols of gold with as well. These are 16k gold per symbol, and you can access uh, Goblin Ball by going to skirmishes, and it's in the miscellaneous tab. So the Goblin Ball is limited to 5 times a day. First of the day gives you double loot, and then there's also uh, items that double the income for uh, Goblin Ball by doing this. Champion's Ball, make sure to use this before entering any Goblin Ball event. This uh, buffs last for the day, so you can use, make use of it like two Goblin Ball, two days of Goblin Ball with one sa uh, sash, which is doubling the income of time to get for each game. Same goes for BG Emblems. I don't have the, the sashes on me right now because. Well, you see how much the gems you get over time, it's so easy to farm them. But it's about a ways to get these sashes for BG. Uh, you get the sashes from your order in PC, which resets <coughs> every week, uh, every second Monday of the month. Um, so that's there, so that you know that about the problem ball and the BG. Uh, it's 
about guaranteed about 16k gold per game that you would win it's a lot of uh, it's very good gold golden ball it's a good game to do it's fun as well uh on pity play somehow a lot of people seem to hate it i have no idea why but i know on free to play a lot of people are doing golden ball on a daily basis so it's a very good gold making method next up we have gold runes and astral now uh, for this you will need an astral ship Preferably well geared. Mine is right now in upgrading phase, so I can't really show anything because uh, my ship's not here. But basically, what you can do is um, when you go to the astro map, there's certain events you can do. Uh, first of all, there is the uh, remote imperial opal for empire players or the distant league settlement for league players. What you have to do is uh, basically it's called trade run. There we go, caravan route. So it's uh, called caravan route, which you, it's happening two times a day. So it starts from three, uh, starts at six, and it starts at nine, and it's always lasting one hour. So what you have to do basically is when this starts, you can go to the hangar, and once you're in the hangar, there's an NPC where you can talk to, where uh, he's gonna have a quest. The quest is going to give nothing, it's just like a quest to indicate that uh, that thing is there to draw pe uh, your, the player's attention. So, uh, transport over our period, you gain some gold to 50, that's basically nothing, but it's something. Uh, when you take this quest and your ship is out, uh, you're going to take this quest and you're going to have the option to get uh, 10 free cargo uh, boxes. And then you can buy another 10 yourself up to 20 slots because your ship can only carry 20 boxes. When you have 20 in total, you can sail out and then you jump to the sector where the League Settlement is if you're League, where the Empire old bosses if you're Empire. And then you have to scan on your scanner on your ship and go towards that allot. And once you've, uh, once you've arrived, you can sell the boxes to that allot. And then you can gain another 5 for free boxes from that allot and then buy another 15 yourself and then return those boxes to the hangar by flying uh, back to the hangar, uh, back to the main allot which is located on the map 1 and then leak here, empire here. Uh, in the end you'll make about 30k profit uh, and you have like um, an hour to do this on a daily basis. Uh, I would recommend doing it once on your Per character, so per ring you have as well to gain the most out of it if this is what you like to do. It's not the most efficient thing to do, but just so you know, it's out there. Then, uh, next of it, you have uh, something else called gold runes. I call them gold runes, but they're basically anomalous regions. So, you have anomalous region in sector 2. This quest is, uh, well, it's not a quest, it's not just an uh, in game event uh, where you have to collect 10 flying orbs in astral with your ship. And after you have collected 10 balls, uh, you're going to gain about 10k gold. And then uh, you will have a debuff of 6 hours that uh, forbids you to spam this all the time because this seems to be very OP to farm. Uh, but you can repeat this as well on your reincarnation. So, what I would recommend is doing this. And then after that, you go to the first map and you go to Anonymous Region in Sector 3. And this sector is going to require you to kill. 20 demons that are all one shot with artillery, very easily to do. And when you have 20 stacks, you will wait five minutes on your ship. And when those five minutes pass, pass, you're going to receive 16k gold. So that's 26k gold in one go. And then you can kill another 20, respawn, uh, teleport to the hangar, go to the reincarnation, go on your reincarnation, go to back to the hangar, wait on your ship, and that reincarnation will gain that gold from. The 20 mobs you killed before, uh, before you left to the hangar. Uh, so this is also a good way of making gold. It's about 36k gold per character every six hours uh, if you calculate it at maximum efficiency. So that is it for the gold runes right now. Um, this is right now on the lowest sector uh, because we only have the green sectors open, but when blue opens and epic opens on top, um, and perhaps maybe legendary opens on top if that happens. Uh, you, you'll see more of these things for each of its sectors, so you can increase the gold gain per day as well. Uh, and it's going to be, and the ones that are from previous uh, sectors, so green right now, when you when we are going to be legendary, great. 
and it's going to be green sector stuff still it's going to be very easy to do these um, the overtime is going to be much easier to make gold uh, at the beginning of the patch it's like the hardest moment um, then also to make gold the free traders trading post this is most like uh, more a cargo thing basically you have also here uh, the barrels of raw ethereum each player in your party for the ship can only buy three so each, each player can only load in three of these and then there's also more of the ethereum you can get by killing random demons in astral and they might drop uh, ethereum in your back and that ethereum you can bring to this old post and sell them for more gold this is good gold as well if you like to be all of an astral busy with your ship if you have a friend or so to go with you kill demons all the time uh, this can gather you a lot of gold as well it does take time it does take effort but it's going to pay out in the end it's, it's really good gold um, that's it about for the astro right now to make gold next up we have koe gold symbol so koe is a end game zone that you'll reach once you're level 80 i think now maybe only when you're 85 the game is going to introduce you with a quest that's going to teleport you here and then this guy is going to have a quest introducing you about koe so in KOE you have dailies, I've just done mine so um, you won't see it right now but these APCs here, each APC has two quests uh, daily and these quests give um, relics of KOE Kingdom Element and with these relics you can buy um, symbols of gold so this is also giving 16k gold per symbol of gold and it's only 1200 relics, you make about Doing the dailies, it's about uh, about one symbol of gold per day, and you can also repeat it on reincarnations. So just so you know, that's there. Also, really good is when you do the KV dailies when the buffs are active. So good um, double relics in the order. So check your order for sure. Try to make sure to make the model of the bonuses you get every day. So. Um, also make sure to always use the Ferocious quest to have it ready for when the bonus from Order Prestige is up and only hand in the quest when the Order Prestige, uh, when the Order quest is up for double relics because it's going to give you a shit ton of these relics and you'll be happy that you did. Next up is in Tkarek, uh, about the same thing, you just do Tkarek on a daily basis, yeah, there's gonna be two quests per, per ring that you can do on every day and for every day you do this you're going to stack up your demonic sparks and buy symbols of gold as well that are also giving you 16k per uh, symbol of gold which is a really good gold actually and i think it's about five sparks per gold symbol so and you easily gain 10 sparks per day uh, per reincarnation so five per quest and there's two quests every day I know it's 20 so yeah 20 percent of gold well it's not hard at all to do it's pretty fast as well it takes you about five minutes to do seven to five to seven uh, minutes to do the full thing the two quests and then you see here the one experts gives five and then there's gonna be another quest that gives another five but that one is uh, daily you can repeat this one but this is not so efficient it's better to go on reincarnations because then you have both quests on other reincarnations uh, any long run, you, you stack up your demonic sparks and then you can buy the symbol of gold if you're lacking gold that is. Next up we have Anomalous Sector uh, slash Astral Hunt. Astral Hunt and Anomalous Sector, basically what you aim for is Nuggets. Nuggets is a currency you can get by doing um, Astral Hunt, so uh, that's a quest that you can get in the, Astral, in the Hangar or in Astral Academy. The quest requires you to go out in the astral uh, with your ship and kill demons uh, with your astral trap open. It's a device that's on your ship and for every demon you kill you basically absorb their soul into your ship and having enough soul power so to speak you will gain chests in your ship and when you deliver those chests to the home a lot you deliver those chests and those chests are going to yield you nuggets and nuggets are used to buy gold symbols or well one of these things that you can buy are gold symbols. Uh, basically right here second option symbol of gold this is only this is also also 16k gold per so 100 nuggets for one um astro hunt is one way to do it you gain about 256 if i'm correct 
for a full ship of astral nuggets uh it's double that it's 500 something if you're using favor of the astral uh, buff from the order so make sure to keep an eye out for that if you really want to do that but um well that's there then there's also anomalous sector that you can do which is anomalous there we go so every day from 7 to 10 and then later on from 1 to 2 30 you can go anomalous sector which is basically ship pvp content well, you, where you will be fighting other ships, uh, other players on their ships, with crews, with team players, um, for chests, and those chests are going to yield you particles of anomalous matter. Uh, right here, this is the shop for particles of anomalous matter. It's these things, and then with these particles of anomalous matter, what you can do, uh, there's no gold symbols in this shop, but you can get this is a different one. What you can get is handful of nuggets so one particle is 15 nuggets so about 100 divided by 15 it's going to take you seven particles to buy one symbol of gold as well so you can buy these things the nuggets with particles on anomalous matter and then when you have the nuggets you go to the nugget shop and then you can buy the symbol the symbol of gold which is also very good money in the long run um so it's up to you if you're lacking gold so just that you, so just that you know that it's out there uh, while doing Anomalous Sector, while doing other Astral events, you will gain emanations of the Mysterious Astral and you can use these as well to buy symbols of gold, which is also 16k gold per. So that's like passive bonus gold that you get in the long term. Next up, we have a private alt slash base. So doing, uh, if you press Ctrl M and you go to uh, pop, 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 maze, you can do mazes five times a week per reincarnation. So what these mazes will yield you are mostly Embryum and with that Embryum you can go to your private allot and on your private allot you can go into the office and in the office you can spend your Embryum for a lot of things and one of them uh, is gold. So one Embryum is going to give you 854 gold. Um, I would say on an average right now uh, some allots mazes, some mazes that we've been invading gave about 120 to 50 mazes, uh, Ambrium, sorry, it depends on, on the difficulty you go to and it depends on how much the player has invested in their maze, to much how, how valuable their maze is, uh, the, and then that um, reflects back in how much Ambrium you can get per maze. So basically doing a maze of uh, let's say 120 embryum is going to get you 100k gold already so mazes are amazing good to make gold uh, so if you're lacking gold just know that it's out there uh, you can also do this well this is in your in your private alloy but you can also buy them next to the auction house there's also an npc that gives uh, embryum for the same amount of gold this is just like more of a general spot for people with a private lot where they can buy everything at the same place. Yeah, I think that's about it, about making gold. These are like the most things you can do. Just remember that everything you do can also be done on your reincarnation. So you can basically double, triple, quadruple everything you do by just doing and repeating everything on your reincarnation. So the more reincarnations you have, the more potential income you, you make for yourself, basically. So yeah. I hope this helped, I hope this explains more about how to make gold for you guys. Uh, if you have more questions, please post them down in the comments below and I'll try to help out or make more guides about whatever you guys need. Um, see you in the next one and thank you for watching. Peace.